Hey guys, Jason here with Hatfield Country. Today I'm going to go over how to overwinter a pepper plant. Of course, it's fall, and here in Kentucky we have, you know, frost coming up here pretty soon. And winter time, of course, you know, it's getting, you know, it's going to get below freezing. So anything left out here is going to die. So, you know, pepper plants are perennial. You can keep them going for a few years. You know, if you're in our climate, you know, bring them inside. You know keep them going over the winter come springtime gets warm enough you can replant them um i usually don't do that because i just you know every spring i start you know my seed my pepper plants from seed but i had a lot of trouble this year with uh getting my habanero seedlings to make it and i only had one so i think i'm gonna try my hand at this and see how it goes and hopefully to go strong next year too. But anyway, I'm gonna show y'all the first step. So you're gonna need some pruners. Now I don't have any pruners, so I got these metal shears, so I've got quite a few main branches coming off, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut off all of these down here. And I'm just gonna leave this main stem in the middle. So you're gonna cut, you know, it depends on what kind of plant you got. They all don't grow the same, but I'm gonna cut all these down here off. And I'm hoping next year that those branch out pretty good I've never done one of these so I'm gonna snip that and I'll probably leave that main branch right there come in here snip off all the fruit of course snip it off there right there that's a pretty good branch here, so I'll probably go on and cut that off. Got that fruit. There we go. So this thing looks bare now, don't it? One more. Now I just gotta dig this bad boy up, try not to hurt the roots. We haven't had a lot of rain lately, so this ground's gonna probably be a little bit difficult to dig. Not too bad. All right, so I got this thing out of the ground. I'm gonna try and get all of the dirt that I can off these roots without hurting them too bad. Yeah, it's crumbling pretty good because it's so dry. There we go. Yeah, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Some pretty cool looking roots. Blackjack, get out of my way. Silly dog. Just shake that real good. There we go. Now, next step, I'm gonna put it in a pot. All right, so I got my pot here going. All right, so I got my pot here. Roots are a little bit big, but I think I'll make it work. I'll take this out real quick so I just got some seed starting mix here I don't have any potting soil which that's really what you prefer or what I would prefer but I didn't have any so I don't think it'll matter much anyway because this plant's going to be dormant over the winter I'm not going to water it or anything so just going to get that down in there real good put this back in here 
go on. I swear, every time I do a video out here, these animals are nosy all in my business. All right, so I'm gonna have to add some more to this real quick. Uh, luckily, I do have some potting soil out here in one of the pots I haven't uh, added anything to for the winter, so that'd be good. All right, so there it is. Got it pruned, transplanted into a pot with some seed starter that I had left over, which I said I'd rather have some potting mix, which I did have out here in one of my containers, so I topped it off with that. So, got her looking good. So that's all there is to it, y'all, to overwinter these pepper plants. Um, I'm just gonna take it in and put it in my garage for now. When it gets real cold, I may bring it in. Our garage is insulated, so it, it doesn't get near as cold as it does outside, even though I don't heat it, but uh, when it gets late into the winter, it gets, you know, really cold. I might bring it in the house. Uh, like I said, uh, you're not, it's pretty much going to be dormant. So you don't really need to water it or anything. Now, if you <clears throat> wanted to, you could probably just prune it back a little bit. And if you had a nice area that you could keep it in, keep it nice and warm and it had natural sunlight, or if you put lights on it, you, you could grow it. You keep on growing it if you wanted to, but I'm just pretty much just doing this to save it for next year and at least I know I have one good habanero plant but anyway let me know if you guys have ever tried this before if you had success with it um, like I said I'm hopeful that this works out because this was the only plant that I had only habanero plant that I had to make it so anyway I'll see you guys next time